Hi guys, Mr. Connor here. I'm working on modeling a flowing lava scenario. You can see I have melted some paraffin wax in these beakers on a hot plate. I added a couple of crayons just to give it color so it looks like molten hot lava. Okay, so I actually combined the two beakers into one and you can see that color changed still looks lava like I believe and the setup here is a tray of sand with an overflow container to catch the mess because when we were trying earlier we already made a mess see there it is and this cup is going to hold the lava you can see a tiny hole down there at the bottom Mrs. McFarlane is our Pegasus teacher next door. Um, she is going to run the camera while I pour the hot wax, which represents our lava. All right, here we have Mr. Connor pouring in the molten wax into the cup, and down it comes, down the mountain slope here. Ooh, it's melting, it's the, melting cup. the cup. Hello. All right, we're continuing with our lava experiment quickly as the cup melts. Science is fun. So the channel is carving into the sand, but as it travels down, it begins to cool and harden. And that cool hardened wax is gonna remain on top. So what we have here is, so in our model, the sand is representative of the landscape and that's part of the geosphere but the lava is also part of the sphere because it's molten rock so as time passes the wax is going to cool let's see what's left over when the wax cools okay so we have poured the remaining wax down the mountainside here okay and you can see the beginning of a channel forming right up here in the top and coming down the mountain so the the flowing lava has carved a channel and as it's cooled um, solid lava is left and so uh, the landforms remain in the landscape similar to our uh, water model um, so in both models, the channel remains. Um, they are different though, because the water is gonna disappear, but the lava cooled and stayed. Um, other similarities to actual Earth would be the shape. Not all lava flows, of course, are gonna look like this particular lava flow, just like not all uh, flowing water looks like um, the chant the exact shape uh, that ours looked like in the in the water model but in general they form that similar shape okay they both form channels is another similarity okay one difference though is that in an actual lava flow there's going to be a lot of destruction in not just the geosphere but also the biosphere plants and animals that are in the way would be destroyed right um, also another difference would be that water um, does affect the geosphere it does all those geographic processes like erosion and weathering and deposition and sedimentation um, but with with a lava flow it's going to actually melt the geosphere. So there you have it, the flowing lava model. One thing I wanted you to be aware of, we tried a couple of times. The first time it didn't work so well, but the landform remained just like in real life. When lava flows across the land, it creates new rock that's added to the surface of the geosphere, and the landform remains for millions of years afterward, and it too is eroded slowly.